tomorrow I, uh, I'm gonna get a colonoscopy. Very excited. And this is what I have to do today. I have to drink this entire tub. I have to drink this entire tub of powder. It's gonna make me poop a lot. I just had my first good poop of the day, and it's probably gonna be my last good poop of the day. And this is hour three of not being able to eat anything. So I have to drink, only drink. Got Gatorade, I got Jello, I got lime Jello, I got blueberry Jello, I got broth, and I got flavored stuff. Very excited, I'm excited to, to track my hangry meter as it continues to get my butt probed tomorrow. Um, and I can't wait. Can't wait to. Uh, uh, people are saying that this is really, really gross to drink, and I, I, I don't know yet. Um, but I let you know how gross this will be. This is probably going to be disgusting. For breakfast, I had a nice uh, cold glass of water, and then I'm thinking for lunch or a little bit of snack before lunch, I'll pop open this green Gatorade. I can't have anything red or purple because it might look like blood and they get in there. So uh, I'm going to have some green, uh, some green Gatorade for snacks. Um, Jello will probably be lunch with some broth for dinner. And then for dessert, I was thinking of some more jello. So, you know, I'm gonna spice it up a bit, you know, have some water interspersed. I'm gonna have uh, some, uh, some water spiced with some more water. Welcome to Colonoscopy Cooking with Josh Soleil. Today we'll be learning how to cook jello, blue flavor. Um, so what we're doing right now is boiling two cups of water uh, for two packets of jello. I think it's gonna be too much, but you know, we'll figure it out. We put the, the blue uh, meth I'm sorry, Jello into um, the cocaine bowl. I'm sorry, the Jello bowl. Um, it's currently in there right now. I don't know if you can see it. Notice how it's not red or purple, so we're good. Uh, we're gonna wait for this to boil. Then we're gonna add cold water into the Jello. Then we're gonna cool for about four and a half hours. Stay tuned. We'll see how it goes. Thank you. Colonoscopy cooking with just a lay. We get that water to boil. We're gonna start taking it out. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna turn that off. Ooh, look at that simmer. What? And we're gonna start putting it in the bowl. I'm going to grab this bowl right here and I'm just going to slowly pour it into the bowl, just like so. Look at that thing. So the gelatin's going to start forming, we're going to start stirring. I'm just going to stir that in. Mmm. Yeah, gelatin. Now that our jello is finished dissolving into the water, we're going to now take this and put it in the fridge and wait four and a half hours. Really subtle taste. A uh, really subtle taste of nothing. Um, it's really, really just blends right in with, uh, with the nothingness. It goes down easy as it's lubed up. Just goes down right down. Um, along with the nothing, it's a hint of lime. We're just gonna set that aside for this. We're just gonna set that down for a second. We're gonna yeah, open this up, pop open this Gatorade. Mix some colors up in here, so my ass looks like tie dye. When I poop, it looks like a rainbow. Uh, that's what I'm going for. You really taste the uh, the glycerol ester of rosin and the, the monopotassium phosphate. I made a mistake. Uh, a couple days ago, I bought Dolcolax, which is a laxative pill, which I'm supposed to take. However, I bought the anal the, the suppository. Um, so it's supposed to go into my rectum. I bought the wrong one. I'm supposed to swallow it, not put it in my butt. Um, so that was fun. Got the right one here. So we're gonna have some soup and then have some pills and then poop. Okay, it's been about four hours since I've taken those pills. And I'm having a lot of cramps. I feel like I wanna vomit. I had one poop. Since then, that has been all liquid. It's like a stream, a waterfall, a sink. It is now five o'clock, and I need to now drink the first part of the mixture. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I don't know how I'm gonna have to drink four liters of this thing. <laughs> what the fuck? You th it's 2017, man. You think you think there's an easier way to do this by now? Well, it's not terrible. It kind of tastes like a like a salty chlorine, like a chlorine, salty chlorine, a little bit. But it'd be much worse. I should say that. Oh, and one of those challenges where you you 
you, you don't know what someone else is going through. For example, let's use this as an example, um, when, when people have periods or cramps from pregnancy. And then you take on the challenge to say, well, let's see what it's like. So I can feel what it's like, what you go through, so I understand and empathize with you. I don't think this is as much as that. I don't think that's as much as pain that, that, that those people go through. But, you know, uh, if it's worse than this, my God, I commend, I commend all of you for not only having that once a month, not more, but to have that for nine months. The future wife, if you're watching this and you're holding our baby, thank you so much for holding our baby. I'm like losing my mind slowly. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's the hunger, it's the hunger. It's really the hunger. The hardest part is the hunger. To not being able to eat is the hardest part. Because I love food, I love food. So I feel very mellow and very slow and, and weak and shaky a bit. The cramps are just the added extra challenge to it. But the hardest part is not eating. That's why Yom Kippur is so difficult. That's why I probably haven't done it in like six years. Don't tell my family. Beer pong, that's what I'm talking about. I lost beer pong, I gotta drink this. <laughs> I make jokes when I'm in a comfortable situation and I don't want to do something. So as you can tell, I'm trying to make multiple jokes to a camera. Hope you, when you watch this, you're enjoying yourselves, laughing, and having some fun, because that makes one of us. Even though I tend to laugh at my book, and stop talking to Josh. I have to drink all of this! <laughs> what the fuck? This is, this is a good sign. The checkers next to me. This is for checkers. This is for you checkers. Bacon, cheeseburger deluxe, and a chicken sandwich. Fucking spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. The good news, the cramps are not there anymore. Mildly there. The bad news, I have seen and felt things I have never, ever in my life seen or felt before. I just got back from the bathroom. Holy shit. My god. They should really warn you about this. There should be some sort of like, group discussion before you get into this procedure. People who've done it before, and people who haven't done it before, coming together and speaking about it. Because they did not teach me or warn me about what I just did. Second eight ounces, here we go. One thing I know I'm gonna need is more baby wipes. When you get where your, your body chills and you get these bumps on your chill, these chill bumps on your arms and body, then you know something's gonna happen, either it's gonna be vomit or it's gonna be some sort of thing coming out of somewhere. That's how I've been feeling for the past two hours. I'm guessing it's gonna come out of my butt and not my mouth, but you know, you, that's a feeling where you're, you're on that edge where you don't know, where you're either drunk or, or food poisoning or something where you're just like, I don't know where this could come out of. Feels like I have food poisoning. It literally feels like I have the beginnings of food poisoning. 